What's up guys, my name is Brandon and man, Apple continues to pump out software updates on a weekly basis and I'm not complaining one bit. So today, Apple released iOS 13.2.3 less than two weeks after getting iOS 13.2.2, which came just one week after 13.2.1. That's a lot of 13 points, but anyways, in this video, we're going to cover what's new here in iOS 13.2.3. We're going to talk about the bugs that have been fixed, the performance, the battery life, and more. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get into it. So you can see here, this update was pretty small. It was just over 100 megabytes on most devices. You can see here, it came in at 103.7 megabytes on my iPhone 11 Pro here. And if we head over to our settings, we can check out the build number here, 13.2.3. You can see here, the build number is 17B111. And as for the modem firmware, we did not get a modem firmware updates you can see there 1.02.18 that's the same that it was on iOS 13.2.2 which I have over here on the left so if you had any kind of cell connectivity issues in 13.2.2 you probably can't expect those to be fixed here in 13.2.3 although iOS 13.2.2 did fix a lot of cell connectivity related issues based on the people in my comments and even in the release notes themselves so you shouldn't have any issues but if you did they're probably not going to be fixed with this update you'll probably have to wait for a future update presumably iOS 13.3. Now, speaking of that previous update, iOS 13.2.2, that did of course fix the major RAM management issues that a lot of people were having, but of course, a lot of the bugs still remained after that update. And that's what iOS 13.2.3, which was just released today, was released for. It was released to patch up some of those other bugs that were still remaining. Some that are newer, some that have kind of lingered around for a bit over the last month or so. Uh, so anyways, as far as outward facing changes, you're not gonna notice anything like new features, no new emojis, there's no new icons, anything like that. It's going to be strictly bug fixes. And there are three pretty major bugs that have been fixed. And I say major in terms of how much they actually affect my daily life. And all three of these bugs, I actually had firsthand, and I've seen numerous people in my comment section as well talk about them. And the first one is one I mentioned in a couple videos a while back, that was with the spotlight search. So when you would search for something, it just wouldn't work. Nothing would show up here. You would not get any results for something. Even if you just like typed one letter, it would just be blank and it wouldn't show up. And it was also affecting notes and messages as well. So if you would search in your notes or in your messages, you would not get any results when you would search for something. And you can see there, Apple did note that it says fixes an issue where system search and search within mail files and notes might not work so they actually reference files and not messages so I guess that is for all three of those as well but I did also hear it reported in messages but it doesn't mention it so I will be curious to see if that has been fixed for messages as well and speaking of messages take a look at that second bullet point there that is a major issue that I've been having for a while now it says addresses an issue where photos links and other attachments might not display in the messages details view and it says might not AKA it really never did. Let me show you guys an example. So first of all, let me go into this thread right here. This is a group chat for fantasy football. If I click on the detailed view right here and go all the way down, you can see I have my photos here and the links and everything. It's showing up properly, but that's only because of this update. That's only started showing up since updating. Now here's that same thread on iOS 13.2.2 here on my left. If I go to my info and go down, take a look at that. It doesn't show anything. Sometimes it will show this right here where you have to like download it in iCloud. Other times it will just show nothing and it's been like that for numerous updates i believe since like ios 13 maybe ios 13.1 something like that but it's been an issue for me and a lot of other people for a long time now so it's great to see that apple is fixing that finally in 13.2.3 so if you were having issues with anything not showing up in the details view of your conversations in the messages application that should be completely fixed now and there were also other times where people would send like a link or even just an image and it just wouldn't show up for whatever reason it would just be white and kind of like the iCloud when it has to download from iCloud but it wasn't that image it's kind of just a blank image you'd have to force close out of messages and then go back in to be able to see that image or that link preview or anything like that. So that appears to be fixed here in 13.2.3 as well. I did test that out. And then another bug that was affecting many people, myself included, inside of the mail application. Surprise, surprise, the mail app has been super buggy on iOS 13. But you can see that final bullet point down there says, resolves issues that may prevent mail from fetching new messages and fail to include and quote original message content in exchange account. So there's been a lot of issues with exchange specifically in the mail application, but if you were having issues with the fetching new messages and including the original message, like when you quote, uh, like in emails, 
that's been fixed here in iOS 13.2.3 as well. I personally never had the quoting the original message issue at all. I never had that bug in the mail application. I did have issues with fetching on like iOS 13.2, I believe it was, and 13.2.1. Uh, so that has been fixed here and then of course if you did have an exchange account some of those issues have been resolved as well with this latest update so i believe that's three updates in a row three public updates in a row where apple has really addressed the mail application so it's great to see apple listening to us because mail is easily the most buggy application in ios 13 so it's great to see apple you know listening to us and fixing up a lot of the bugs that people have been having and then the final noted fix in this latest update is fixes an issue that could prevent apps from downloading content in the background now this is something that i haven't noticed myself i have not noticed this happening on any of my devices but if you were having any kind of issues with content downloading in the background that could be fixed and should be fixed with this latest update now as far as performance goes performance on ios 13.2.3 feels solid uh, it feels about the same as 13.2.2 so far however on ios 13.2.2 i did have a random lockup where i had to force restart my device now while we're on the subject of performance based issues i did want to show you guys this issue that i had with ios 13.2.2 so you can see here my phone completely locked up i was unable to do anything i had to force restart it and this is on 13.2.2 so iOS 13.3 beta 1, I did not have this issue with, and hopefully I don't have this with 13.3 beta 2, but the latest public release, I had this major issue right here, and you can see it just completely locks up. I show it's on the iPhone 11 Pro Max there, and I haven't had that like pretty much since iOS 13, like the betas of iOS 13. So for some reason, iOS 13.2.2 was locking up for me. So hopefully that doesn't happen with this latest update. I will let you guys know in my follow-up video though. But so far, it feels good. I would expect the performance also to be a little bit better in this update because of the bug fixes and things like that. And of course, not having to worry about RAM management issues whatsoever is a really good feeling. Oh, and before I stop talking about the performance, I did want to mention the Twitter application. A lot of people on Twitter will reply to me and tell me that their issue with Twitter is that it's like really slow, it's laggy, it crashes sometimes. That's an issue with the Twitter application itself. That's not going to have anything to do with iOS 13.2.2 or 13.2.3. So it is slow for me as well on 13.2.2. Hopefully it does get updated and fully optimized for the latest update. But I did also want to mention that because a lot of people told me about that issue and I wanted to at least mention it in this video. But anyways, as far as battery life goes, battery life on iOS 13.2.3 should be about the same as 13.2.2, which it was great on 13.2.2. I had no issues on any device, no battery drain issues or anything like that. I'm getting pretty good battery life here. You can see uh, over the last 24 hours, about five hours, 45 of screen on time over an hour of screen off time. My last 10 days, you can see here I'm um, averaging uh, that doesn't really tell you a lot, but it shows you how much I'm using the device. So I can definitely tell you the battery life is solid here on iOS 13.2.2. And again, I would expect the exact same battery life, if not maybe a little bit better on iOS 13.2.3. But of course, once again, I will let you guys know in my follow-up update, which will be out probably next week. And for those of you guys wondering about the battery life as far as what devices I tested on, I do test the battery life, of course, mostly on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So obviously battery life is gonna be good for the most part, no matter what version just because the battery in this device is so good but I do also test the battery life on like the iPhone 6s I tested on my iPad here I also tested on my iPhone 8 so I'm not only testing the battery life on the best phone with the best battery so I don't want you guys thinking that I do also take into consideration your guys's comments and your replies you know on my Twitter my Instagram and things like that I take all of that into consideration so I just wanted to make that clear because I know sometimes people will be like of course you have great battery life you have the best phone with the best battery but again that's just not the case so so anyways, should you update to iOS 13.2.3? And for that, I say absolutely. You should definitely update. There's some really annoying bugs that have been fixed in this update and it will continue making your performance better on your device, especially with like the mail application. And of course, seeing those photos and the detailed view of messages is something that I know a lot of people do. A lot of people wanna be able to see that and not have any issues. So that's just another reason to update to 13.2.3. And again, performance and battery life will be probably about the same as 13.2.2, but of course there is a chance of it getting better. And once again, if you did have cell connectivity issues in 13.2.2, you probably won't get those fixed in 13.2.3. So if you're really not having any issues on 13.2.2 or you know if you don't have any of the issues I mentioned that got fixed in this update which you should be having them but if they're not a big deal to you then maybe you shouldn't upgrade because sometimes new bugs can be introduced that's always a thing but of course if you do care about those bug fixes that I mentioned in this video and you also like the possibility of having better battery life and better performance you should definitely go ahead
ahead and update. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, of course, make sure to give this video a thumbs up as always. And of course, make sure you guys do subscribe so you don't miss the next time a new update gets released because they're coming out so quick. It's a little bit hard to keep up. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest to do with iOS updates. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.